Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel for nurse aid students, candidates, and instructors alike. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform the CNA testable skill under Pearson View, assist with use of bedpan. Now, with the 2000 updates, there are no longer any critical elements uh, steps in this skill, okay? Uh, the, I think it only had one critical element, and that was how you place the bedpan. Uh, with the 2018 updates, that is no longer, okay? So no critical elements in this skill. This skill is performed on a live person. I have Miss Carla here uh, with me acting as the client, okay? The supplies that you will need for this skill is going to be one standard bedpan, a package of wipes or hand wipes, one roll of toilet paper, and two pairs of gloves, okay? So those are the supplies that you'll need to collect. What I'm gonna do right now is start from the very beginning and I'm going to explain everything that I'm doing, okay? So what you'll want to do, uh, of course, first is your opening procedure. So you'll knock on the door. Mm -hmm. You're going to address the resident by name. Good morning, Miss Carla. Hi. My name is Julie. I'm your CNA. And today I'm going to assist you with the bedpan, okay? All right, before I begin, I just want to make sure the bed is in a low safe position. Bed wheels are locked. Here's your call light. Now, as you see, I'm giving Carla the call light in her hand, okay? Giving it to her in her hand. I'm gonna provide you with privacy. Okay. I'm going to go wash my hands and gather my supplies and I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. Okay. So now I'm gonna gather my supplies, which I already have gathered, okay? I have them here, as you can see, okay? And the first thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that Carla is in a supine position, meaning the head of bed is lowered, okay? And the head of bed is already lowered, so I'm just gonna verbalize, your head of bed is already lowered, okay? Now I'm going to put on my first pair of gloves. I'm just putting on my gloves now, Miss Carla. And I'm going to get the bedpan. Now, when placing the bedpan, even though it's no longer a critical element step, the step specifically states for you to place the bedpan underneath the client's buttocks correctly, okay? So, if you notice, the bedpan has a wide angle and it has a narrow angle. Uh, when placing the bedpan correctly, the narrow angle will be facing the footboard and the wider angle will be facing the headboard. In order to not overexpose the resident, all I'm going to do, instead of uncovering the resident, all I'm going to do is lift up the sheet and Miss Carla's gown. Miss Carla, I'm just lifting up your sheet and gown. If you could raise your hips for me, please. So I ask the client to raise his or her hips. I'm gonna place the bedpan underneath no overexposure, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is remove my gloves without contaminating myself. I'm going to dispose of my gloves. I'm going to verbalize washing hands. Now I'm going to raise the head of bed, okay? And the reason why you wanna raise the head of bed, Miss Carla, I'm raising your head of bed now, okay? The reason why you wanna raise the head of bed is because you want to uh, position that person in the most normal uh, position for elimination, okay? Are you okay? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Okay. You still have your call light? Yes, I do. Okay. Miss Carla, here is your toilet paper and your hand wipes. Now, with the hand wipes, you have to explain what the hand wipes are to be used for. Ms. Carla, the hand wipes are for you to use to clean your hands when you're done, okay? Thank you. Now, you wanna make sure that the toilet paper and hand wipes are within the person's reach. 
and to alleviate any questions that the NAE may have as to whether or not the person can reach it, you can always ask, Ms. Carla, are you able to reach these? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go step behind the curtain. When you're ready for me, just ring your bell, okay? Yes, so now at this point, you will actually go stand behind the privacy screen or curtain. I'm ready. Okay. All right, Miss Carla, you are ready. I'm going to go ahead and lower your head of bed. So before removing the bedpan, you want to make sure you lower the head of bed, okay? So your head of bed should be lowered when placing the bedpan. Head of bed should be lowered when removing the headband. Excuse me, bedpan. You always want to make sure you put clean gloves on before handling the bedpan. All right? I'm going to move this table out the way here. Now I'm going to put on my second pair of gloves. And the same way I raised Miss Carla's sheets and gown when I place the bedpan, that's the same way I'm going to raise them when I remove the bedpan, making sure I do not overexpose the client. All right, Miss Carla, I'm just gonna lift your sheet and gown. I'm gonna hold on to the bedpan and I'm gonna pull it out from underneath you. Thank you. Uh, you still have your call yes. light? Okay. Bed is still in a low safe position. Bed wheels are still locked. Privacy is still maintained. So I already did my closing procedures, okay? Now what I'm going to do is take my wipes and toilet paper. I'm going to set it on the designated dirty area. I'm going to empty the contents of the bedpan into the toilet. I'm going to rinse the bedpan empty the rips into the toilet. I'm not going to dry the bedpan. I'm going to place the bedpan um, after I empty the rips into the toilet in the designated dirty area. I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself, verbalize washing hands, skill complete. And that's it, assist client with use of bedpan. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Before I leave, as always, uh, I want to remind you to smash that subscribe button, kick the like button on this video and all of my other videos, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Hope y'all enjoyed. Bye-bye.